Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called Isti Boku no Hiro Academia Opening 2 from Season 2, okay? So, give you a preview of what you can learn today is the awesome chorus section, my favourite section. Okay, check it out, it goes like this. Let's get right into it. So, quite a lot of, um, I guess, notes happening and stuff. So, let's break it up to parts to learn it, okay? So, uh, the first part goes like this. Right hand starts with B here. So, middle C, C here. Go up to the B. That's where we start on. Goes B up to F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. And it goes B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, so that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes like this. It goes B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp. And that's the right hand for the first part, okay. The left hand, we have three chords for this first part. The three chords are C sharp minor twice, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, so two of them. A major, which is A, C sharp, E, okay? So with these three chords in mind, so C sharp minor twice followed by A major, the two hands together goes like this, okay? Right hand starts first. After the, all the Fs, C sharp minor by itself, and E, and then next F sharp and C sharp minor together. After F sharp, A major by itself, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this, goes here, together, here, okay, so that's the first part, okay, so that's that, okay, moving on to the second part, second part, right hand continues, it goes B, and then an F sharp for five times, one, two, three, four, five, E, and then up to the B, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, okay, so, that is the second part. One more time for the second part. So it goes like this, okay? So it goes B, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E. And then it goes down uh, up to B and then G sharp for five times. One, two, three, four, five, F sharp. And that is the second part, okay? So easy way to remember it. So you can see at the start it's like B and then five F sharps, one, two, three, four, five, E, and then up to the B and then five G sharps, one, two, three, four, five, F sharp. Okay, so yes, it's all about five for the second part, okay? So that's that for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords here for the second part. The three chords are A major, which is A, C sharp, E, followed by two E major chords, which is E, G sharp, B, so two of them, just like that. That's the third chord as well. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so A major followed by E major twice, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the B, F sharp and A major together. After F sharp, E major by itself. And the right hand goes up the, the second G sharp and E major together. Like that, and that is the second part. One more time for the second part, so it goes like this. Together, here, and then together. Okay, and that's that. Okay, here we go, let's move on. Actually, before we do that, let's play the two parts we've learned so far, back to back, so you know what it sounds like. Check it out. Like that. Okay, moving on to the third part. The third part is a short um, part. It just goes like this. It goes B up to G sharp, F sharp, B, F sharp, E. Okay, that's the third part. One more time for this third part. So it goes down to B, up to G sharp, F sharp, down to B, F sharp, E. And that's the right hand for this third part. So six notes for the right hand, essentially. So that's that. Left hand, two chords here. The two chords are both B major chords, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, so two of them, okay? Yeah, so with these two B major chords, the two hands together goes like this. B major by itself, Ryan continues. 
then after that, B major by itself, and then Ryan comes in. Yeah, so kind of like three notes each. So it's like chord, three notes, chord, three notes, okay? So yeah, one more time, so it goes here, here, yeah. And that is the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far goes like this, check it out. Moving on to the fourth part, okay? So here we go, the fourth part goes like this, right hand continues, goes D sharp E, D sharp E, down to B twice, up to G sharp, F sharp, F sharp E, D sharp, D sharp E, okay? And that is the fourth part. One more time for this fourth part, so it goes like this, goes D sharp E, D sharp E, down to B, B, up to G sharp, F sharp, F sharp E, D sharp, D sharp E, and that's the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here, okay? The four chords are A major is the first chord, which is A, C sharp, E. Second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. And then third chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. And then the fourth chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so A major, B major, G sharp minor, and C sharp minor, the two hands together goes like this, goes chord, right comes in, after that, B major by itself, right comes in. After E, G sharp minor by itself, right comes in. After F sharp, C sharp minor by itself. And that is the fourth part. One more time for this fourth part, so it goes like this. It goes here, 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 here. And that is that for this fourth part. So back to back, the four parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out, okay. So that's that. Moving on to the fifth and last part of the section. Pretty simple stuff. It goes down to B, up to G sharp, F sharp, and then goes B, F sharp, E. Okay, so it's the same right hand as the, um, uh, which part was it? It was the same as the third part, if you recall. That's short part for the right hand, okay? So it goes, yes. Just goes B, G sharp, F sharp, B, F sharp, E. Yeah, stuff like this, we should like, I like recognize it because it saves you some time for the right hand learning it, okay? However, the left hand, we have three chords here. It's a little bit different this time. The three chords are A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. And then the last chord just finish off holding the C sharp minor chord, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so A major, B major, and C sharp minor, the two hands together goes like this, A major by itself, Ryan comes in, after F sharp, B major by itself. After E, C sharp minor by itself. And that is the fifth and last part of this section. One more time, so it goes here, here, here. And that's it. So back to back, all the five parts in this lesson just be played like this, check it out. So after you get the melody and chords version of this good, then you can consider doing all these other added improvisations and like patterns to it to make it sound more awesome, okay? Okay, so for the example, the left hand can do something like pattern. It could be like... Kind of stuff, okay? You can do, even do octaves and stuff and combine the chords with the melody and stuff. You can be like, um, let me see, okay, let me see. So, something like this. So I was actually like sometimes like thinking of what to do as well, okay? But anyways, get familiar with the uh, chords, get familiar with like the, uh, I guess the general um, scale in this. So let me see. Okay, so it's like a C sharp natural minor, or you can say 
Oops, no, it's not. It's yeah. So E major or C na C sharp natural minor scale. Yeah. So you can actually actually like um based off the chords, you can just do it on this kind of scale. You can be like improvise. practice the um, progression and also practice the uh, uh, according scale okay because it's it is quite um this C sharp natural minor or the E major some people don't like it because it just has annoying sharps but yes okay it's up to your own time to like see if you want to like improvise to this song or not okay but either way you can just play the melody and chord version and get that good and then just do some like rhythmic pattern on the left hand to make it more awesome but anyway I guess that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Check out the rest of my channel if you like this type of tutorial. Like I have so many videos on this channel for you to enjoy. Literally like thousands and thousands and thousands of videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So check it all out. Check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description to learn more piano from me. Learn how to play, but yeah, improvise, read sheet music and a lot of other stuff, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. <laughs> I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.